What's going on everybody? I'm coming at you with a different video and today I am here at the Regal 16 Cinema in Riverside for a screening of The Amazing Spider-Man 2. Okay. I haven't seen this movie in such a long time, but there are some things that I really do like about it from what I can remember. When I saw this movie, which was 10 years ago, I saw it with my two brothers, Matthew and Andrew, and we actually went to the movie theater with face paint. So, this was a movie that I wanted to like and love, and it seemed like that the studio really tried to make adjustments to the franchise with regards to the suit that Andrew Garfield wore in The Amazing Spider-Man 2 as opposed compared to the first one, okay? Uh, like Spider-Man 3, I remember this film suffering the fate of just having too much in trying to pack in uh, to a sequel, like a first sequel, okay? I'm gonna go in, uh, kind of recollect and reflect and then when I get out I'm gonna watch uh, when I get out I'm going to yeah. talk a little bit about the film so we're gonna go inside check it out and uh, again I'm really grateful that they extended the screenings from past Monday because for a while they were only gonna show one film one day but I guess when they saw how much money the films were making, they decided to extend it to Tuesday, Wednesday, and today is Thursday. And I'm so grateful because after you have a long weekend, it, it takes a lot of mental capacity to, to watch a movie on a Monday. But that's just me, okay? So I'm glad I had a few days during the week to space out and uh, revivatize and watch the movie. So let's go inside and uh, we'll talk about it when I get out. So let's go. All right, let's go inside. All right, so I just got out of the theater. I enjoyed that more than I did 10 years ago. The Amazing Spider-Man 2, it's still flawed. Uh, it tries to stay consistent of telling the story from the first film, like continuing the story. You definitely see uh, Mark's, Mark Webb's strength in terms of uh, like the romantic aspect. But I, I really appreciated uh, seeing Andrew Garfield's performance um, with Emma Stone. Um, I connected with it a lot better 10 years later. And I still think the Spoiler alert, the death of Gwen Stacy was done perfectly and it corresponded with a note that my acting teacher gave me in seeing the cause and effect of seeing somebody who really loved someone because they lost that one. And uh, I, I just connected with that. Shout out to Fran Montano. He's the one that gave me uh, the note on that. That was one of the last few notes um, he gave me and uh, I just connected with that like I was like able to connect the two and seeing Andrew Garfield act he's just a fantastic actor Andrew Garfield is a fantastic actor and of course Emma Stone two-time Academy Award winner she's just legend she's just legendary but They, they just could have done a better job with the execution and probably the choice selection of the villains for this. 
I did not like what they did uh, with Harry Osborne. I get it, you had to have the Green Goblin in, in it to make sense for the death of Gwen Stacy. I get it. Electro, that scene in New York uh, with the first reveal, uh, special effects are fantastic. The Rhino, I actually wasn't so bothered by the betrayal of the Rhino by Paul Giamatti. I still don't like the creative choices of having him in a robotic, like mechanical suit. I think that's whack. Um, I didn't like the song that they close out. It's on again with Alicia Keys. I, I just, I don't know. I just, I just, I just felt like it was uh, not the best choice. So something that I um, forgot to mention is one of the golden moments for me that just makes me really like this movie is there's a scene between Peter Parker and Gwen Stacy and uh, they're rekindling their romance, okay? And there's a song that plays in the background that really uh, caught my ear when I first saw it uh, 10 years ago. And it's a song called Song for Zula by Foss Forsent. I think I'm pronouncing that right. Uh, that song is so beautiful. That is uh, one of my uh, all-time uh, favorite songs. I just, uh, I, I, I just love that song a lot. And uh, another thing I, I forgot to mention to you is uh, the enhancement of the visual effects from The Amazing Spider-Man. Uh, the swinging effects are much, much better. Uh, they're much more comprehensible. Uh, you could definitely tell they made some adjustments uh, to make things more visually appealing. Because the thing is, they knew that the first Amazing Spider-Man uh, didn't make as much money as the Raimi movie. So they thought, okay, well, there's no going backwards. We, we can't go back to Sam Raimi. So let's try to make the Amazing Spider-Man 2 uh, look something similar to the Raimi films. So hopefully we can draw those audience members um, that didn't tune in in the first one who were Raimi fans back into the Amazing Spider-Man franchise. So uh, I do have to compliment. It is, there, it, there's a very big improvement with the visual effects uh, on it. You could definitely tell they were going for a little bit more of a lighter tone, but there, there's a conflict of, uh, you could tell there's a, a conflict of, uh, of interest compared uh, from the first film to this film. You could tell that there was a lot of studio notes uh, in, interfering with that so uh, just had to uh, incorporate that in uh, I mean it made sense it made sense having Peter Parker listen to Gwen Stacy's uh, speech uh, to give him the inspiration to get back up and become Spider-Man again I get it it is what it is I mean I, I think some things could have been done a little bit better overall I enjoyed it better than I did 10 years ago. Do I think it's flawed? Yes, primarily with the over jumbleness. And the thing is, I, I mean, I get it. You're continuing the thread of the story of the first one with wanting to know who Peter Parker is in regards to the relationship with his parents and what they did and so forth. I just, I just, I just don't care for it. And I should, I should care for that, but I just, I just wasn't too invested in that, and then of course, we still don't know uh, what happened to Uncle Ben's killer from the first one. Still, know with great power comes great responsibility. Uh, they tease a little bit of that in the first one with responsibility, but they never actually say with great power comes great responsibility. But uh, but yeah, that's it. Um, overall, I had a really good time. Uh, I really look at filmmaking different just to, just to see movies uh, I really uh, anticipated and look forward to and uh, appreciate I mean here's the thing I'm pretty gung-ho about Sam Raimi Spider-Man 4 but if they decided to go forward with Andrew Garfield's The Amazing Spider-Man 3 I'd be open to that I'd be open to that 
uh, again, it just feels like The Amazing Spider-Man 2 just suffers the same fate of Spider-Man 3. Uh, there's a lot of good threads in it, a lot of good stuff, but overall, it's, it's, it's like a sandwich with really good bread and some good ingredients. Like, let's say you love turkey, like you get a, you get a really good, like a Jersey Mike's turkey provolone sandwich. And, it's, and you love turkey and provolone and you love the the parmesan cheddar bread and you love that but that sandwich has got anchovies and you don't like onions and it's got onions in it that's what the main spider-man 2 uh, reminds me of it's a shame it's a shame it's a shame um but 10 years later you know we know that andrew garfield and toby mcguire reunite with Tom Holland to portray Spider-Man again in Spider-Man, uh, I believe it's, um, yeah, No Way Home, so, yeah, well, that's it, guys, that's a wrap, um, aside from that, yeah, if you guys like this video, if you like this video, subscribe if you're new to the channel, feel free to share, um, I feel obligated since I saw the you know, the Tobey Maguire Spider-Man films and the Andrew Garfield Spider-Man films, I feel obligated to see the Tom Holland Spider-Man films. I mean, it's only two, Hall, two Tom Holland films and then Spider-Man, uh, yeah, No Way Home. Well, that's it, guys. Um, yeah, if you guys like this video, like this video, subscribe if you're new to the channel, uh, feel free to share, and uh, thanks again for watching, and as always, I will see you on the next one.